Third, we are tracking a lot of breaking news this evening. First, we begin with a man accused of a quadruple murder in Kellogg, Idaho, who made his first court appearance today. Krem 2 was there, but first, just within the last hour, we have also obtained new court documents that detail what led up to that shooting. Krem 2's Kyle Simchuk has been reading through those documents today. He joins us live from the newsroom with the new details. Kyle? Well, according to court documents, Major John Kaler told police he snapped and killed the family of four. Authorities say he claims an 18 year old boy in the house exposed himself to his young daughters and the two adults in the house didn't seem to take his concern seriously. Just before 7.30 p.m. this Sunday, police in Kellogg received multiple reports of shots fired. Detectives were on scene within four minutes and found a family of four shot to death. Detectives say they were all shot in the head at close range. Outside the two-story apartment, they found 31-year-old Major John Kaler. According to court docs, he told detectives he killed his four neighbors, including 18-year-old Devin Smith, who Kaler and his wife claim exposed himself through a window in front of their young daughters days before. Smith was killed along with his 16-year-old brother, mom, and grandfather. According to court documents, Kaler said he was upset the two adults didn't seem to take his concerns seriously when he confronted them. Kaler's wife told detectives she witnessed the teen expose himself on June 13th. Court docs show Kellogg police were called to the home to investigate. On the day of the shooting, Kaler's wife said she was standing near her husband and heard the gun go off, then saw the teen's mom and grandfather fall to the ground. They were found outside the apartment. Smith and his 16-year-old brother were found in different areas of the apartment. Court docs show police found blood and human tissue on the gun, consistent with a close-range shot. Kaler's wife told detectives he asked her to tell their children he protected them. She then overheard him talking on the phone, saying he had killed four people. And detectives say they found a 45 caliber semi-automatic pistol in Kaler's truck as they processed the scene. Whitney. All right, thank you very much. And Creme 2's Shannon Mowdy is continuing our team coverage on this story. She has details now on the suspect's court appearance. He faces four murder charges and one count of felony burglary. Today, prosecutors said that Kaler admitted to the killings. The crime scene tape is gone and a memorial now stands at the scene where four people were shot dead Sunday. And we now know the identities of those victims from the Shoshone County coroner. They are 65 year old Kenneth Gardapi, 41 year old Kenna Gardapi, Devin Smith and 16 year old Aiken Smith all died of gunshot wounds. In his first court appearance since Sunday's shootings, Major John Kaler heard the charges against him, including four counts of first degree murder. That carries a potential maximum penalty of death and or life imprisonment. Do you understand that charge and the potential maximum penalties, sir? Yes. Kaler's also charged with felony burglary. By entering into a house, room and or apartment with the intent to commit the crime of murder. Prosecutor Benjamin Allen called the shootings horrific and asked for a million dollars in bond if one was set at all. Allen detailed Kaler's criminal history, which included a number of misdemeanors and infractions dating back to 2007. Certainly the state's recitation seems long, but really breaking that down, we have um, a few misdemeanor offenses, certainly none of a violent nature. But Allen argued the court must take into account the nature of Sunday's crime and the fact officers say Kaler admitted to the shootings. Admissions were ultimately made to the offenses charged in subsequent interviews by law enforcement with those in or around the scene, identified both a motive, a method, and a witness to at least two of the four charged murders. Judge Oxendine declined to set any bond. Idaho State Police says the homicide investigation continues but we now know there was a dispute between Kaler and his neighbors. Kaler's due back in court July 3rd for a preliminary hearing. In Kellogg, Shannon Mowdy, Crem 2 News.